what the hell is that? Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today. But yeah, hope you guys like this video. It's my first time ever doing a first impression, not a one brand, a mixture of like five or so different brands. High end, low end, mid end, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So first off, I'm starting with a concealer. It is the Maybelline's the Eraser Eye Anti-Age. I have been wanting this for ages. This is so hyped up, so I can't wait to try it out. I got this in the colour Nude. They have so many different ones. They've got an eye brightening one, then they've got an actual concealer shade. Oh, it's like a little, what? It's a pink fluffy ball. Okay, I need to get a mirror. Why do I always do this? Okay, so I'm guessing you twist it to get the colour out. So let me twist this for a while, just to see. What? How do you even use this? Am I using this right? So I have to turn this left until the colour comes out, but literally nothing is coming out. Finally, we get some product there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> wow. Products take so long to like come out. Wow, bam, one swipe and that is just full coverage. You can see my little marks. I have these marks and I don't know why. Oh, it feels weird. It feels like a wet sponge. <laughs> and as I don't never use like a beauty blender that feeling is not I'm not used to it should I do it up here I never really just whatever this is quite a good colour actually that's quite good like wow So done with concealer, I'm so impressed that that's covered. It's quite full coverage. I can see why it's a favourite and maybe it'll be my new concealer. I really like that but only apart from the fact I'm not a fan of that squishy wet sponge feeling. It's a bit weird. Next we are moving on to foundation. This is a sample I've had for ages. I don't know the shade because, well, in terms of professional, it wasn't really that good because she wrote my shade on a card and I literally have no idea, probably threw away. And she put my foundation in a Smashbox sample pot. This is not a Smashbox foundation. Okay, so let me tell you. This is Estee Lauder's Double Wear Foundation. From online, I'm guessing this is shade Tawny, but I'm not sure. So let's see how this goes. It is quite dark. So I think it may have oxidised. It was quite dark, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. Okay, so put that on, and I am. Oh my god! I feel like I'm using all the like hyped up products that I've always wanted to try, never did, and I can see why. It is so like full coverage and it actually matches so once I find out what shade this is or get tested then I definitely I would buy it. I can see why it's so much money because it is good and it gives you that dewy look but obviously because I'm not into the dewy look I will be powdering and matting it down. There's just a tiny bit crease in so I'm just moving it out my other foundation brush this does look a tiny bit pink maybe that's why I look white because it's actually pink and not yellow I don't know I went from high end to drugstore real quick because the next item I'm showing you is Emiray's powder I ran out of the translucent white one that I you've seen before so I wanted to try their pressed upper pressed powder because they've got a couple so I'm just going to powder over this foundation okay I really like this I think Emmy Ray is 
got one of the best powders because it makes you nice smooth doesn't make you cakey and this time it's yeah it's like a translucent yellowy the other one was white so next let's move on to the brows and it's another Amy Ray product the other day I bought like eight mascaras because they were doing a deal where you buy you spend ten pounds you get a free palette so what I did is I bought eight mascaras so that's two casitas and I got both of these palettes which I'm going to be featuring in this video. I love their brow pencil. I thought I would try their brow mascara. What shade is this in? This is in dark brown. And let's see how this goes. So just like my brows, it looks really weird on camera from what I can see, but Everything just looks darker <laughs> on camera. As you can see, my foundation blends in a bit more, I think, maybe. The brows are good. Okay, next we are going to go on to eyes. So I'm going to apply eyeshadow. I thought this was all an eyeshadow palette. But in this one, these two up here are bronzers. And this is a eye highlight. <laughs> I blush and then the, it's only these two out of the whole palette that are eyeshadows and the same with the other one but instead these top ones are highlights then you've got the eye highlight the blush and then these two are shadows apparently these eyeshadows don't have names so it's just a light champagne color and then a brown just brown so I'm gonna do like a so I'm going to do like a smoky eye. So let's just do this. Quite pigmented. Wow, it's quite shimmery. So if you're not into shimmers and you like matte eyeshadows, this palette won't be good for you. Okay, now the eyeshadow's done, so it's just a very glittery, smoky eye. Okay, next I have a small version of the Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner. So we're going a bit pricey again. And this has probably been the most raved eyeliner ever. People say it's the best eyeliner they've tried. And you guys know, I go through a lot of eyeliners, because a lot of them are crap. So I can't wait see how this goes okay guys I just applied it it glides on so 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 smoothly so people say that if you don't really know eyeliner then you should use this but I'm thinking the opposite. If you're good then you should use this because if you don't know how to use eyeliner it you're terribly wrong because it it comes out so easily. This eyeliner doesn't drag like half the eyeliners I've used which means I mean it, it takes quicker to do. I don't know I'd have to see how it wears through the day. I look like really cat eyed look. And next I'm going to use mascara. I didn't feature it into my Lottie London because I forgot it. So I thought I'd buy it still. But I still want to try it. It could be the next big thing. Who knows? It's like a massive tube. It had a really, really weird. I didn't even mend it. Like, that's the shape of it. It's. It's a weird shape. So let's see how this applies. This one is just too big. <laughs> it separates, it doesn't make it clumpy, it gives it length. It doesn't give that much of a volume. 
And I think they designed the one like that so you can do your bottom and top lashes. So the thick bit at the end is like for the top and then and then like the start of the wand is like really slim. So I think these are three bottoms. I mean I didn't get much transfer underneath. I mean they look good. It's not like a wow factor. Definitely something I can live without but it's just I mean it's good, it's good, it's good. I mean it works. So that is that. Okay, I love how my camera's flashing red and I still ain't anywhere near finishing. So next is Chrisma Foam Lush. It is like a bronzer type. It's got a really weird smell. So I'm gonna have to this is the first time in the video I'm using cream contour. I don't think this is gonna go well as a fun like a contour. That has done zilch. If anything, it's actually removed the foundation. It's supposed to be a skin tint, but it's too dark to like rubbing your face like a moisturizer. So unless you're supposed to mix this in with your foundation to give like a nice glow, I have no idea. Yeah, it says mix in with your favorite moisturizer or sub color supplement, but the color supplements are kind of like foundations. So I thought this would be good but I'm definitely, it's a no for me. I'll have to just mix it in my foundation and that to see how it is. And I was actually gonna do a Lush one round, but from now on, but after this I'm not, because I've seen a couple of videos, which I'm glad I watched, their line is just poop. And it costs about 100 pounds. You know how many drugstore brands are better than Lush? I know people are like, oh, because it's cruelty free and they use fresh products. The fact they use fresh products, it's like a no for me. I'd, I'd rather not use fresh products and have good makeup. And obviously Lush is for people that don't really wear makeup, and I do, so. Lush is not the one for me. I will feature in another one brand video type their products because I do own eyeliner and eyeshadow from them. But to do a one brand to buy their powder, their foundation, their lipstick, their brow pencil, their mascara. I've seen the mascara. <laughs> it looks crap, honestly. I love Lush, but makeup ain't for them. So let's swiftly move on. I'm gonna try. Let me see if I can build this up. Actually, no. I'm not even gonna try and do that because it's literally removed my foundation. I've always wanted to try his makeup products and never got round to it. And finally, I decided to buy his highlighter and his lipstick, and that is the famous. Jeffree Star. I know people have opinions on him, but I mean, if their makeup's good, who cares? Honestly. Oh my god, it is so nice. I like to shine from the gods above. I'm going to this highlight out I can. So let's move on to lips. We've done everything else. And that is. Another Jeffree Star product. It is, it's liquid lips. And I bought it in I'm Royalty. Because I love purple colours. I can't wait to try this because it's so hyped up. That's a strange scent. Oh my god, it smells like them love heart sweets or... It's another sweet I There's another sweet I recognise. Yeah, but it basically smells like that. Oh my god, amazing. Let's try this on. It is so wet. So many liquid lipsticks that I go on and they're really dry. I'm so happy with this lipstick. I obviously have to see how it wears for the day. I feel like it looks blue on, a bit on the blue side of the camera, but it's really like a mid-tone purple. So that concludes the end of the video. So now I'm going to do a roundup of the products and what I thought of them. So I've got my handy dandy Jeffree Star mirror. I feel like Lady Gaga, especially the bandana. Telephone. Okay. Let's not do that. 
Okay, so foundation. I loved it. It's full coverage. I only like wearing really full coverage. I don't like wearing light to medium. I like wearing medium buildable to full or just full. Can't even see my spots. The concealer was amazing. It bam straight away full coverage. Not like makeup revolution streaky and really thin. I like thick concealers. It's amazing. I, once I find my shade, I and had the money to buy it, I would definitely buy the full version. The brows, very natural looking. I wouldn't say it's better than the pencil, but I mean, I could draw a tail with the end of the wand. I mean, it's not too dark. I was supposed to compare it to my other, like, mascaras. Oh wow, um, I didn't feel it. It feels so soft, unlike my Boohoo Technique brow gel mascara. It that one, when you feel it, it's all crusty, it's hard, like it's proper set. If you want a really set, not gonna move throughout the day, brow, that's perfect for you. But this is soft, it feels just like your hair, it's no hard, no crusty. So it'd be good to see how long it lasts. Shall we move on to eyeshadow? I love the eyeshadow, beautiful colours, champagne and a shimmery, well it's brown, it's like really brown in the, in the pan. Like that one, it's really brown. But it looks quite light, like a goldeny, like a dark rose gold maybe. I mean, you can tell it's cheap, let's be real. It is, it doesn't blend well, really. Mascara. I like this mascara. I mean, I don't know if it's like I'd, like my next holy grail product. It does the job. I mean, Let's say you got this a gift and you used it, it's brilliant, but I personally don't think I would purchase it again. It just makes them there. It makes them there better than other mascaras that make them there. Like, it is really good, I just don't know. It doesn't give much length. It gives it quite a good lift, but maybe not as much as I would like. It's good. I don't know what to say about that. Let's just say that if I didn't this video I wanted to try this mascara and I generally just forgot about it like I did when I made that video there wouldn't be much of a difference in my life let's just say that next eyeliner the first time applying it I'm gonna have to get used to it because it came out so quickly I wasn't used to that it's good I mean it you can't see skin most eyeliners you can see like the skin between your lash and the bottom bit of your eyelid it doesn't do that it's not crackled I mean it's good easy to apply I just need to test it more to see if I favour it over my drugstore ones I mean if I don't brilliant so then I ain't got to spend hella dough on an eyeliner next highlight I am just in love like this is like great 10 out of 10 I love it because I love it, I want to try the pearl from Becca. But I've seen some mixed reviews on that, so I'm not sure. And there's not many videos on, well, the pressed powder one. I don't want the liquid one on, like, medium to dark. They're all on fair skin, so I can't really tell by the swatches. So, you know anyone that's done a swatch on this? I'd love to see it. But, yeah. I love this so, so much. You can probably tell. Next. I would not even bother trying to like contour with last year's product it just it blocked so so bad technically in this video I didn't even do contour because the contour didn't work and it flopped so badly I'm going to feature blush just to give this look that dimension because just highlight on its own I feel like it needs something so this is there's a few products I seem to have bought after the brand haul. This is Lottie London's blush in Zac. I like how they name them after guy, fam like famous guy people, guy people, that's English. They've got one called Harry, they've got a Zane, they've got a Zac. So let's try this. I have only ever tried one blush because brands don't do reds and I don't like pink. I just hate pink blushes. So it's so hard trying to find a red. Like I want to try Nazi's Exhibit A, but that is hella money. 
oh, maybe one day, if I ever do a NARS, I highly doubt that because that is expensive. But if I ever do it, I'll try it. This is, I bought it because it is very dark. It's the darkest blush and it's kind of, it's a very deep, deep pink so I could get away with it being on the red, ready side. Oh, look at that glow. So I'm going to take my handy dandy <laughs> blush brush. Let me try this out. Oh god, it looks quite pink. Let's see how this goes. Oh my god. Do you see how pink that is? Oh my god, that looks so, so bad. I'm going to need to get my contour one, maybe. Okay, that side doesn't look that bad, but the first wipe, oh my god. That looks so bad. And for me, that is bad because I like bamming your face. When I wear my red um, blush, I put a lot, a lot on like, in your face. So for that pink to just be like, now I'm going to match the other side, and I don't want it because. <laughs> well, let's just say, like London, if you ever want to try their blushes, they're pigmented. So God forbid, what their lighter pink ones look like. Oh my God. Blend, 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 and it will fade. It's still quite like bright in your face, but it will kind of, it will just like fade and be more subtle. Oh, what is it? Okay, so that is the blush. I definitely, I actually like it. I will be using it again. It's just be a bit light. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, it's so cute. I like it. That's surprising. I like that. Oh wow. Well. I'm glad I bought that shade. Shall we move on to the like the. The most brightest of brights is the lips. It dried quite quickly. I did have to put another layer on top of it because it went a bit sheer, like down the middle bit here. With lipsticks, I always try to get as close underneath because when you do that, I hate seeing like a pink line. So I basically just do, like go in and I really cover that. Kind of not a fan. If you look really closely, you can see a bit of like a crackling, like a peel. But I love the colour. It is, I love it. It's so nice. This is actually lighter. I did an Instagram post on a couple of my colours because I thought, I was so convinced. Where is it? I don't know where it is. I was so convinced that this is like a dupe or an exact shade as Max revolution but boy was I wrong this is actually a tiny bit lighter I love it but yeah that wraps it, it up I love everything apart from charisma but maybe in another video I will demonstrate it mixing it with my foundation or moisturizer to see but for the money's worth and the fact it's fresh which means it's go off I just don't think it's worth it whether it does give me a subtle glow. I could do I could do that with another product. But I'm gonna end this video here. If you liked how this turned out, then let me know. I feel like I use a quite random product. I use that like Kat Von D, Estee Lauder, then I went to like MUA and then Lush and then Jeffree Star. It's quite a weird mixture. The next video I'm doing it is quite the same as in I'm using like like five products from one brand and another five products from another brand so I'm only featuring about like two or three maybe instead of doing like <laughs> a full face of every single different brand but yeah I'm going to finish this video hope you guys liked it until then I'll see you guys next time